remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? There's a viral video out of a young black soldier addressing people making light of the United States and Iran's imminent war. Well, can't just say it's the United States against Iran because the United States is going to form a coalition of co-signers. That way, when it goes in on Iran, it won't look like the bully it is. So the guy in the video expressed his contempt with how people are just joking and just just joking it up about this soon to be bloodbath. He said that, hey man, I, I understand that we live, you know, and we got a, a, this is a goofy generation. I get it. But, you know, it's people out here for real. You know, I'm out here for real. You know, my life is on the line. It's other people out here who have their lives on the line. This thing is real. You know, he's like, hey man, I get it. You know, I like to laugh. I like, I know people like to laugh, but this is real. Now, I know there are you guys out there right now, you're typing away and you're saying, hey man, you know, that's what you signed up for. You know, no black man should be fighting the white man's war and killing brown people and all of this stuff. And I get it. I'm with you. I'm with you. The fact is, however, this guy is young and he may not have gotten the lesson that you got about the U.S. military. He may not know what you know. So when he went in, he wasn't armed with the information. He wasn't armed with the information that he probably don't even know. He's probably not even aware that you had black soldiers who came from World War I, who fought the Civil War, who came from World War I, who came from World War II, and came right back to America, and not only got called the N-word, but were lynched. He probably don't even know that history. Because a lot of these guys, when they join the service, they just go in to try to pay bills. I mean, most of the people that are in the service uh, come from poor backgrounds. And so, joining the military is like the quickest way to adjust to adulthood and you know get your bills paid get a roof over your head get some food in your belly have a little money to spend and save also you have people that join the military so that the government can pay for their education so they join it for these reasons not expecting to ever have to actually be deployed and go to war so I get it, you know, you signed up for it, I get it, but I think we have to, you know, take a look at, you know, why these youngsters sign up to get in in the first place. And not everybody that are in the military are youngsters. What happens a lot, a lot of times, this is what I saw happen with my cousin who is in the Navy. He's Navy Reserve now, but when he first went in, he told me he was going in and he was going to do a four-year turnaround. What happened is that once he got in, when he got ready to leave, when he, they waved the check in his face. I think it was like something like $10,000 bonus or something. It told him if he stays, he can get this $10,000 and he'll have also, uh, and they also give you incentives to get married and get a house. When you get married and you get a house and you get babies and stuff like that, they know the more that, they give you the more reliant you are on the military and that aid and those benefits because they have great benefits outside of sacrificing your life. You know, great medical benefits, great uh, education, all that. That's what's so attractive about it. It's the package, it's the benefits that a lot of people jump on. And a lot of people just don't give it a lot of thought. You go in thinking you're going to go in and get out in four years Every time you try to get out, they weigh that check in your face, that bonus. Next thing you know, you've been there 30 years. So this is why I can't be too hard on the people that do go 
into the military. But I can tell you this, if you are black and you going into the military to fight, like consciously go out there and fight against people who ain't never called you the N-word, who ain't denying you benefits, who ain't denying you, uh, I mean, who, who, are, who ain't discriminating against you, who are not uh, gunning you down, uh, yeah, something's wrong with you. If, if, that, if that's your reason for going in, if you're going in to do stuff to people who ain't never done nothing to you, something is wrong with you, especially to do anything for Donald Trump. Donald Trump, he ain't got no problem starting the war, but he can't finish it. He ain't going to throw one punch. Ivanka ain't going to throw one punch. That little boy he got, Baron, he ain't going to break one fingernail. Trump Jr. ain't about to throw, he ain't finna throw one punch, one rock, nothing. It's gonna be you and yours who gonna get slayed out there on them battlefields. When they start chopping off those heads, that's when America gonna know it's real again. Y'all, how soon we forget? Y'all forgot what happened in Iraq? The same thing is gonna happen in Iran. You're gonna see guerrilla warfare. They can't go up against America one-on-one. Uh, -on -one. They can't fight America mano mano. It can't go like that. So what's going to happen is you're going to see these situations where a fire is going to break out here. A bomb is going to happen over here. And it's going to be calculated. It's going to be unexpected. It's going to be random for us. But it's going to be very calculated on their end. They know what they're doing. And you can't possibly guard all of these federal buildings all of these stadiums and arenas, you can't possibly guard all this stuff and you can't even possibly guard the president all the time. You can't do it. It's impossible. It's impossible. We don't have those type of resources. And even if you did, you still can't do it because it is very hard to stop a determined mind. So, but getting back to the original post, everything ain't funny, family. Like, we, we, we just joke too damn much. Everything, you know, I understand, you know, sometimes people joke to stop from crying, you know, you know, but everything ain't funny, man. And that should be some type of, some type of uh, boundaries when it comes to these jokes. You know, even people joke about slavery. Man, I have never heard a funny slave joke, ever. Everything ain't funny. This is real, man. And America just seemed like America is the hard, most hard-headed ass nation on the planet because it constantly makes the same mistakes. The people in America constantly make the same mistakes they've made in the past. Same old shit. Constantly making the same mistakes. But pride itself of being this intellectual nation of people. It ain't funny. There will be blood. No more talk. What the ladies talking about?